Hi everyone, in this video I will walk you through every step to create a people picker in Power Apps. Let's get started. All right, here I am on my PC and I am on make.powerapps.com. Here I have a normal form with my people picker that you can create in a few minutes. Let me play this app, this Power App, and now let me show you this people picker. If I click on this people picker, I can start to search people. I have here, for example, Adele Vance. I can remove the text and then I can search another colleague, Diego Siciliani in this case. Or I can search Nestor, Nestor Wilke. Here we go, I added three items now to this combo box, but I can remove one and I have two. Or if I click again, I can have just one person as a prover in my process. This is pretty easy to implement. Let me show you every step that you can follow in order to have this kind of people picker implemented on your form. All right, first of all, I'm going to click on the back button and then I'm going to click on leave. I am now on the homepage of make.powerapps.com and it's time to create now a new hub. Let me hit the button create and I'm going to start with a blank hub. Let me select blank canvas app. I'm going to target phone as a format. And now I'm going to add my title. Let me be original people picker mobile. Let's click on the button create. Now I have my form ready. First thing to do is to add a connector. In order to use the people picker and to query the Microsoft 365 tenant, we need to add a new connector. So let me go here on this icon data and here I'm going to click on data. So now I can type in this search field Office 365 users and now you should see this connector available. Let me click on it. Now this is added automatically. I can go back to my screen and here I can start to add my combo box. This is the control that we need. Let me click on combo box. This is placed on top of my, of my screen. And now I can target the data source, which is in this case, my Office 365 users connector. All right, now that is added, I can hit the link advanced and in this panel, what I'm going to do here is to choose the right method that I want to use in this connector. Office 365 users. You have search users, but my suggestion is to use the version 2 so you can get the latest and the greatest that you have. All right, now here we have to add the search term and to do that, we have to open the curly brackets. Let me type search term that I have here. And now I'm going to select my combo box. I have not changed the name. So I have the default name combo box one. And now I can press dot. And the method that I want to consume here is search text because I'm going to take advantage of the search capability of the common box. And I'm going to pass this parameter to the search term. Finally, comma, and I have to say how many rows I want to query. In this case, I'm going to type 10. I'm going to close the curly brackets and close parentheses. Now, this is not enough. If you use the version two, you have to type dot value, you have an extra step to do, you have to target the value of this method. Otherwise, you will get other information and you will not get the email, the display name, the job title, the city, and so on. If you use the version one, you can omit this, this property. All right, now that I added value, it's pretty ready to go, my combo box. I have just to change something. Clicking back on properties, what I can do here now on fields is to change the layout. I'm going to have a fancy layout. I'm going to select person. 
And now as a primary text, I'm going to say display name. As a secondary text, I'm going to display the email. Normally, as a secondary text, it's display the job title or the email, but I want to show you the, the email. And now finally, I'm going to query the display name property when I search something in the combo box. I'm going to search per display name. All right, this is now set up. The last thing that you can do here is to allow and turn on allow multiple selections and allow searching. This is pretty good to have. So it's these components, it's more flexible. All right, I can start to play my component. If I click here, I can start to search something. I'm going to type Giuliano and here we go. I have several Giuliano. I can then click on the button X and I want to search now for another user, Adele. I can add another one, which is Diego Siciliani, for example, and voila. Now I added three user in this combo box. I can remove one, I can click outside and I have two users now selected in my combo box. As you can see here, it's pretty straightforward and easy to implement a standard people picker. I'm going to make another video how you can create a modern and fancy people picker. Stay tuned. All right, we have seen how to create a normal people picker in Power Apps. If you enjoyed this video, please consider to subscribe, like, and put a comment down below. Let me know what do you think about this video. I hope to see you next time. Bye.